Hi, in this video we are going to test out this pen. This is a T-Fal pen and I just got it. There's the back so you can look at it and it feels very heavy, like it's fairly hefty. It does not feel cheaply made. It feels like it's really good quality. Um, it's just a little bit heavier than some of the other pens I have. It comes with these care instructions, which I haven't really gone over, but it's pretty cool because it's got a lot of information that you can read about utensils and how to take care of it and all of that. So, and it also comes with this little card. I think this is some type of limited lifetime warranty card that it comes with, okay? So this is pretty much all you get. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash it because I just got it and we're gonna make breakfast here and we're gonna see how well this pan actually performs, right? We're gonna make some eggs. I am super, super hungry. I'm having a late breakfast, so. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock here, so let's wash this and test it out. So it looks pretty good, just gonna rinse it. I want a nice pan, it feels really nice. It feels like it's really good quality. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the burner on over here. It takes a while to turn on. There we go. Yeah, wow, nice. T-Fall technology. Really well made, hefty pan. Should I get the soap off my hands? I have soap on my hands. I love these non-stick pans. I've had um, T-Fall pans in the past. It's been a while. I don't remember it feeling this hefty. I guess it's been a while since I had one, but I just feel like this is a little bit heftier than some of the other T-Fall pans I've had. Perhaps they make different varieties, but uh, this is the exact one that I got. So this is what you'll get. Yeah, it feels, it feels heftier than a normal T-Fall pan. I, I don't know. Yeah, it just feels really good. All right, so right now I've got it on, um, it's like on six and a half. Uh, let me go five and a half. So it's like medium heat. You're supposed to cook on low heat. All right, and I'm gonna get some, I've got some spray here. I've got some olive oil spray I'm going to use. And I'm gonna get some eggs out of the fridge. And we are going to make a wonderful breakfast. So it looks like, yes, I do have eggs left. And I think I'm gonna make myself um, three eggs this morning. I was starting to get hot there. So I'm gonna spray a little bit oil in the pan and I'm gonna go ahead and I probably should have uh, dried the pan before spraying oil on it it's probably not a good idea but I think it looked pretty dry but generally you don't want to mix oil and water it's not a good idea so let's go ahead and throw some eggs in there so this should hold four eggs so here's one I'm gonna try hard not to break them Again, it's on five and a half. This is a, a newer uh, range, but I don't really like it so much because it goes from like really warm, like slightly warm to like incredibly hot. There's no like in between. It's really hard to adjust the temperatures. So let's just leave it on five and a half and see how it does. So there we go. And then one more egg. If you're curious, these are not all for me. I'm not going to eat four eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna have three. I'm making one for someone else. There we go. You can see already the eggs are starting to cook. I'm just gonna rinse all the egg off my hands. Looks like it's cooking pretty well so far. And it's shockingly uh, heavy. Again, it feels a little bit heavier than a lot of the other uh, T-Fal pans I've reviewed. Um, I have a larger pan, which is a different brand. And honestly, this one feels heavier and heftier and better quality than that one. So uh, really happy with my purchase. I'm definitely going to keep this and use it as one of my regular cooking pans. You can also make like a hamburger on this. It might be tough to make two hamburgers on this, but grilled cheese, maybe a grilled cheese sandwich. That's something else that you could probably make uh, on this. I'm going to um, heat up some waffles as well. I need waffles. Yeah, thought I had waffles, but I don't see them. All right, it's really cooking now. Starting to cook there. Get some plates. Very nice. Very, very nice. Watch it cook. So it's almost there. At some point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
get a spatula and start to uh, separate, start to separate the eggs. But not quite there yet. Just a little bit more. Let me zoom in so you can see. It's pretty good, right? It's cooking pretty evenly. And again, the stove top, this is on, it's on five and a half. So we're going to leave it there. Okay. Just let it cook a little bit, a little bit more. And you can see how long it takes to cook because this is a real time unedited video. So that's what I like about eggs is that they don't take long. You can make your breakfast in the morning. You can make your eggs and it doesn't take a long time and you have some wonderful eggs, right? So really quite nice. And they're easy, right? It's an easy meal. All right, so I've got a spatula. I'm going to go with this one. It's really starting to get there. So I'm going to just do this to separate. I like to flip my eggs. It's a risky move because you always risk breaking them. So we'll see how this pan performs. We're already at over six minutes here, but this is, you know, from, from start to finish, right? We have a brand new T-Fell pan. I washed it. Um, you know, I, I oiled the pan. I put the eggs in. So this is how long it will take you to use this and actually have a meal right out of the box. Right out of the packaging. I, I don't think it came, I'm sure it came packaged. I think it came in a box, but I threw the box away. I'm pretty sure this one came really well packaged, if my memory serves correct. It was a, it was a large box, and I thought, what's in this box? And it was just that one pan. I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is a heavy pan. Very heavy. Getting really close here to flipping. Not quite there yet. See, I want some of that to cook right there. You see that? That needs to cook there. So I'm going to just do this. See if I can get a little bit an opening there. You don't want to overcook it on the bottom either. So it's doing pretty good in terms of sticking, right? No, nothing is, seems, to, it seems to slide pretty well. It's not quite there yet. That one needs to be a little bit, a little bit more. All right. So here I'm getting ready to do it soon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to start by flipping this small one. So fast and quick. One. Okay. Let's do this one. I think this is like the maximum number of eggs you can make this way on this pan. I don't, I don't think five is a good idea. In fact, I think maybe this is a bit too many. I'm taking a chance here. This one's going to be tough. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, see, see how it's stuck? So what you want is you want to separate it and then try to do the flip quickly and then there we go. We don't want it to want all that to cook. So I want to break the yolk, but I also want it to cook. Let me flip this one. There we go. It's a nice spatula. It's a thin spatula. So you can work like this, like a, like a surgeon with the eggs. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. I want to make sure all that's cooked. Don't want any raw parts. There's the toast. Okay. I think that's good. I'm just going to, I just want to make sure there's no raw parts. I think maybe this pan is better suited to three eggs. I did four, but again, quite challenging. And I do have a lot of egg cooking experience. I, I, I eat eggs almost every single morning. All right. I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera back. I don't want to set the plate on the burner. I'm going to set this here and I'm going to put egg here. Let's do an egg here. Flip it over. Yeah, cooked. See it cooked. See it cooked. So that's three eggs and the other egg I'm going to put in a different plate, which I'll get now. Okay, here's the other plate for the eggs. There's, there it is. Beautiful, right? Let's take a look at the pan. See what it looks like. Pretty good. Easy to clean. I'm going to let it cool off before I run it in water. It's usually a good idea. I didn't read the directions, but that's in general, that's something you want to do. You have a hot pan, just let it sit on the stove top for a while and let it cool. So pretty happy with my purchase. Mm, delicious egg. Oh yeah. Good quality stuff. Heavy, surprisingly heavy. The handle is very well made. It's insulated. T-Fowl. I recommend it. Good luck.